Um, Fabian, you and Trek and e-bikes or speed pedelecs, how we call the fast ones in the Netherlands. What's your relation with e-bikes? Uh, since I'm retired, it's even a close relation that I have. And I think um, it fits now definitely even more to my regular normal daily schedule. Because um, I don't say I'm more home, but I'm different home. So uh, I like to go once in a while to the post or to the supermarket uh, or something that was needed at home. So I can also move things. And normally I did that always with my car. So, but now on plus with this option that also helps me to come home, not just full sweat and full breathing. So I can also enjoy the small ride I'm going to do. And, uh, and so you do a lot of things combining and um, it's really cool. I, I really like it. I can do things also with my kids, with my wife. So, um, and the good thing is you don't need to put cycling gears. So it's not about a bib short no, no, jersey. No, no, no. Uh, looking like a full professional rider and um, that's why I like really um, the e-bike and, and um, I think it's definitely something really cool. What was your fastest speed during your road racing career? I mean on the flat flat road um, I think it's I could go up to maybe for a few seconds you reach maybe 70 kilometers per hour. 72. This does 45. Isn't this boring? Um, no, it's actually not boring. It's actually cool because you have the 25er or the 45er. Mm -hmm. And I think um, the 45 fits better to me. And um, I can enjoy Strange. riding. No, I can riding my bike <laughs> in the town or whatever on, on the road. And I also have still some speed because yeah. now when I go training, I go maybe 30 kilometers per hour. But when I was a pro, I went for sure more than 30. The problem is, uh, it's fatigue, so yeah. it's sweating, it's uh, performing, but right now, I mean, I can cruise around, I, I don't say I drop people, but I pass people, they maybe cycle now, so, yeah. but I come with that, and uh, if I have a meeting in the morning, or, or I have something going on in the town, I can move around easily with that, and so it helps me to win time, somehow I go out my, my, uh, from home, to the meeting place I have to go into town and there also so I'm already at the fresh air. The story about the e-bike it's such a great thing that yeah. for sure it will like I saw in Switzerland is every six bike is already an e-bike e and I think it will go into five yeah. and even to four and I don't know where it's gonna go but I think for sure a, a cycling like a, a regular normal cycling bike that you go for the road when you put your cycling gear yeah. on, I think it doesn't have to be an engine inside because for this we have Trex super commuter. I think is also price quality really high because we have other brands that is seven thousand dollars, seven thousand mm -hmm. euro, seven thousand yeah. Swiss francs plus minus, and it's like a motorcycle. Yeah. And when they're coming without telling the name, when, I, when they're coming from behind, they're really fast. Yeah. But I think that mostly the people they're riding sometimes, they are not in control of that. But then we have other ones, they are cheaper from the price towards the super commuter. Mm -hmm. And then it's the quality. So what we want, what do you want to have a known engine? I think it's yeah. also cool they, they're working with Bosch together. Yeah. So Trek is bicycle company and not engine company or uh, electronic company and yeah. so I think this is what also helps to have a super mix on a super quality price level and um, I mean now it's up to the people yeah. if they like it or not I like it because I have seen other ones and um, yeah I mean it's a really cool bike do you think that an e-bike is good for the relation between men and women yes really in if what it, way I mean, if a man always cycle, he goes mostly alone. Yeah. And then the women is home and say, damn, can we not do something together? I say, yeah, but if you come, I have to wait. Then you say, pain. I mean, now a woman or a man, whatever its combination is and who cycles more or less, can now join a bike ride on a certain yeah. speed that they can do something together. So it's also 
a relation towards the love mm -hmm. because in a relation you have to work always every day on the relation because not just you are with somebody together and then you, are, you live a bit and I think this is a cool tool on plus that you can use it as a relation towards into your partnership so I think uh, because the women or the men who yeah. depend cycle more or less yeah, takes sure. and yeah. then the funny is that the person that takes the, the super commuter will even be faster yeah so it's actually also <laughs> cool to have something that you're faster okay if you do 200 kilometers mm -hmm. then you have a problem but i think you can always adapt and um i think it's cool i mean this is also something i will i will do with my wife or with my kids or whatever that um that we can do it a ride together because yeah. somebody that doesn't cycle a lot for sure it's pain not say painful but for sure it's a fatigue to ride up a mm -hmm. small climb but with this small help you can reach both things and then you have a lovely saturday afternoon yeah. a lovely sunday morning or whatever you can go to a coffee ride i mean a coffee ride with 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 your wife girlfriend uh, with your partner or or the opposite for the women with the men or the husbands i think it's cool when do you get your first super commuter plus uh the super commuter is in Switzerland in the office from Trek. You got one already. Uh, I gonna get it because I hadn't the time to go there because I don't like to get just ship at the bike yeah, yeah, yeah. at my home because I want to go to the office and uh, go through the details and um, the bike is ready. It's just uh, my turn and the turn will be in a few days to really go and take it and then I gonna enjoy uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, a modern e-bike on the market and uh, rumble the new machine. <laughs>